There's an actual grave here. There's a grave. I told you! Yeah, this bit's weird. That, that like trap door that's what the <laughs> Say hello, Paul. Welcome back. We're going somewhere very, very interesting. Yeah, a mate of mine sent me a video of this guy walking around this house. And I thought, oh yeah, that looks pretty interesting because it was very quirky, like proper unique stuff there. Jason wanted to tag along. Finally meeting my real dad. <laughs> so we ended up going in Al's Rust Rocket. How long have you been living in here? Uh, three oh, years. <laughs> when we got there, we went into this like we go into any other explore, not really knowing too much about the place. What's the sign say? The truth about a, a malicious prosecution. Well, not guilty of causing injury, only crimes. We knew the guy who lived here was called Jake Mangle Wurzel. Jake went through a bit of a midlife crisis, and he was like, you know what? Fuck this! I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be me. Um, he got rid of his old name. And uh, he went by Jake Mangle Wurzel. We're joined today by Jason. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Fucking hell. Has he put a mirror on the bonnet of that car? He got quite famous in the 80s, like he was on a few TV shows and um, now he did hoard a lot of stuff. Uh, but he also created a lot of crazy contraptions, inventions. Um, I hope you haven't got your vans on today, Al. I have got some different ones. I've, I've actually put um, a layer of metal. Oh yeah. In the soil, yeah. I'm wary about the caravan. I feel like there's just going to be some angry person and storm out of it and go. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Okay, so Jason just goes in to it. Oh shit. Jason. Yeah. This looks like your house in Belgium. Oh yeah. No, it's better than my place. <laughs> a lot of people um, will know who he is. And we really should know who he has been local ish. The office. It's a building that we're walking around. He's, he called it Wurzel Land, and um, it was his pride and joy, basically. What a strange is that, is that place. Is that a policeman's hat? Really Bobby's, Bobby's helmet. Where? You can, you can see it better here. I think it's a vehicle. Yeah, so this guy was an inventor. He was, and he called himself King of the Eccentrics. I mean, there's a lot of stuff online about him. He was, there was a documentary made about his life. There was, um, he was in an episode of Hoarders. Um, there's like loads of, um, like rumors and legend about this guy. Yeah, Bobby's hat, Bobby's hat and um, like a cat girl cowboy. Don't you care? Easy brush. Yeah, there's all. It's like the whole house is made out of junk. <laughs> wow! You want junk? Here's your junk. Is a member of the EDL. Oh god! Oh my god! What the fuck is that? Six, Jason, did you? Sixty-five today. Oh Jason, god, you, you scruffy head. bastard! <laughs> Jason just found a hat in there and put it on his head. Oh fucking hell. You should, t you should put this on the back of the van. Ow, just bang it. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. I think the last 10 years of his life, he kind of fell off the map basically. I, from what, what I've read... Um... A newspaper here from 2003. 2003? Yeah, Huddersfield Daily Examiner. 4th of July 2003. Now there's so many legends about this guy online, like... Um... Apparently he got married to his dog. He went by names like uh, Andy Pandy. Like there's a long list of names that he went went by. Fucking hell. Department of Culture. Department of Culture shock. We have a toilet here. Here's a John. John. What are you what are you saying? There's not much up here. Yeah, there's just yeah. probably not anywhere to to really stand this. We're all gonna die. Yeah, this is all. Just what, do you, what do you reckon? You reckon it's um, it burnt down? Yeah. Well, what I had said downstairs on this that this was there's like loads of rumours and stuff online about this guy. Jesus! Jesus. Oh, fucking Christ! I forgot how careless Jason is. <laughs> With his fucking elephant feet. Um. 
Yeah, there was loads of rumours on that. Like, one of the rumours was that this place burnt down and he moved somewhere else, and his other house is like this. Like, eccentric -y. There was a bunch of other stuff, like he built a telegraph tree. He used to drive around uh, with uh, his signature bathtub on the roof of his car. Yeah, he was, like, around Huddersfield, he, this guy was, like, loved. I love a Bobby's hat. You found, Jason? Um, more of are you going to give it a read then, for the viewers? In loving memory of a devoted husband, father and granddad, Clifford Orange, died the 14th of October, 1982. Wow. What a name, Clifford Orange. And you've got this mannequin here. Would you, Jason? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that is a cool sign. The boss. The boss. You put it in, you put it in the studio. Jesus. There's a mannequin here. Do we know if he invented anything worth worthy of noting? Um, I don't think so. Are you going to give it a read then? He's got a road sign there for Elland and Brig House. Sounds about right. I like this sticker on the back of, his, of the what would have been the boot, I guess. For Jesus' sake, overtake this fucking fit. Read that again. Doesn't say Jesus. Oh yeah, for Jake's sake, <laughs> overtake this fucking fit. Uh, unfortunately, he died quite recently uh, from cancer, which is quite sad, but now you don't know what's real and what's not with this guy, because this house was... This one burnt down, as you can see. Coffin lid? There's a coffin lid? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wurzel. Hey, Amen. Amen, oh, yeah. This was one of his inventions. It was a... Oh, yeah. Professor Toilet. Jake Jonathan Toilet. Zebedee Mangle, Mangle Wurzel. Yeah, assistant there you go, folks. Oh, look, this was one of his inventions. It was a oh, yeah. toilet Jake, Jonathan, called... What are they Jeffrey called? Mangle. Um, Mangle. Like a system float. Yeah, a system float on a fan. Suspended from... Oh, is that... Jesus, look how it's attached. Oh, yeah, with a nail. Oh, shit. Did anybody notice the mannequin? Yeah, I saw it. There's a grave. There's a grave? what? Now, one thing that's quite strange when you're walking around there's a like a grave basically um but the grave is to someone called anna if i remember rightly uh, there's like a giant headstone which just completely looks out of place um which made no sense oh there's an my actual God. grave here look 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 look, look, what? look look there's an actual grave here oh there's... yeah shit look there here here lies no behind you here look, yeah. look, look all right here. buddy hell jesus christ Oh you shit, there's a grave. I told you! Well, oh, hey, attack. keep your hair off. That is actually a grave. Oh, no, it's a dog. I said that. It's a dog. It's, it's a dog. dog. There's a good documentary about Jake called Mr. Wonderful. It's on YouTube. On that video, you see him burying his dog. Now, I came to the conclusion that it, it was where his dog was buried, but it actually turns out that Jake is buried on this property, uh, which makes things... Interesting. <laughs> what do you do with the house now that Jake's buried on it? Age 14 and a half years. Equal to 101 in human terms. He was the son of Princess Pips and grandson of Jake the Rake. He joins his mother now and awaits his granddad. Oh, so I'm going to make his dog and his wife. That's a little bit mad. So I'm going to make So he's buried his dog and his wife here. No, look. Yeah, check this out with the reef as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that a bit. Could he serve a purpose? What? These masks. Because if you climb right up that way. Maybe, yeah. Right I mean, I, th I think he just likes <coughs> like to, you know, like what? attach things to his house. She, this woman, oh no, Abraham, wife of Abraham, Mary Ann, died in 1903. He's moved that and he's concreted it in there. Yeah, well, I do know one thing. I know that um, he got a council order because he was dumping all of his stuff on the field. You see, on Google Maps, there's a few cars here. Uh, it's just like, look at this. He's like, look more homely around this area. Look at that. Is that one of them things that they used on a ship? You know to Jake, get... Jake, this is very noticeable. Oh no, it is a ball and chain. It's got um, a leg yeah, thing. The old ball and chain. This is very noticeable for Jason because you have to wear one. Hands off hitch. <laughs> what the fuck? 
What's HRI? I have no idea. Maybe I shouldn't. Just wave signs of political signs around if I don't know what they mean. Yeah, that's true. Jason's brought oh, one yeah. of his signs to put up. What is UKIP sign? Oh, Did you UKIP. bring that all the way from Belgium? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like he, it's like he like stole signs from places. Because there's a road sign over there as well. What? We've got filth. Filth. What do you think to the? Uh... I don't even know what this is about. <laughs> Oh, fuck! Yeah, that's him. That's the guy. That's the, that the guy. I believe so. Is it, are we in a caravan here? Yeah, we're in a caravan here. Check this. What you found? Oh my god! Yeah, but this sign—it's someone's been here recently. Soccer in Misery Mondays, length of January twenty-one. Oh yeah. Playboy. Oh, Jason. Oh. Is that all banned in uh, yeah, like Belgium? No, she, should we get some on camera just so Lloyd has to blur it all? Yeah, right? let's make it work for Lloydie. Alright, Lloydie, first off, right? Right, here we go. What? Are we ready? Oh, yeah. All the shit is like written everywhere. Oh, phone yeah, like writes phone numbers. Soccer in field. Ricardo, soccer. So I guess there was a guy that used to come play football in the field and he wrote his number down. Mm. He's got one of the NHS. Is that all in yeah, like not, hidden. No, it's not NHS, is it? It's ow, like. Ow. Yeah. It's in that mug. Yeah. That's Ian. That is Ian. <laughs> He's got an Ian mug. Oh, it must have been an arcade. Oh, Thief Woods. Ah, oh, yeah. Like Tony. All his phone numbers that's here. That's Look at all the string and, and wires that are like going yeah, around yeah. the place. Like all of there. Well, all his, all of his electrics. Can you tell what these are? Lanyard, so this can't be that old. Can you see what these are, Lordy? Are they pencils? <laughs> no, they're cigarette butts. Oh my god! Oh, no, have shit. you seen that? These are, these are full. Wow. Someone's living here still. Is it you? Someone's living here still. Are they fucked? No, we, we, saw, we saw a sign Ow. in there well, saying we, January 21. We know what well, the conditions are like now. in Belgium of people do living you, in squalor, but that's now. not what happens in the UK. Uh, Stone during the day. Call to depressives at Brown Cow Bridge. You don't need to throw your lives away. I'll show you free how to save yourself. Samaritans will listen but cannot advise. Shrinks, pills, booze, religion will not cure. Don't bother to. Pre very, very strange. Yeah, he's written yeah, some weird shit. Yeah, Jason, have a shit. talk on one of What is what here? What? what? Sorry, what? That's like a handmade one, isn't it? You Mr. Like Post signs. is letter to number 10 in several names into golden post box, no mistakes. Jake still lives here. 2018. 2018. Who is Jake? Jake Sold dead. to Jake. Oh, Jake died. Yeah. Oh, that was Jake. The, on the mug. Do you reckon he lived in here when he's ha Do you reckon he lived in here after his house burnt down? No, I, I don't. I I think it, didn't his house burn down after Vinny's house. Like after he died, no. 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 Because he moved to another location after this, apparently. Is that is, it, is that a money? I, I haven't looked in here yet. Potential investor and what we're showing him how we do things and, and hope that he invests. Jesus. You gonna answer the phone to I guess. <laughs> Oh, right. Oh, it's, it's a deadline, I'm sorry. Oh. It's just like, it's one of them places where there's so much stuff. There's just too much. Yeah, there's too, too much, much like to process. It's got a Macclesfield Express. It's you like, know, it, it definitely, like you said it was on this <coughs> episode of Hoarders. Yeah. It's we definitely a Hoarder. That, yeah. No, we haven't been through that. That's another point. Let's go through that way. Turning a wheel and I don't know what's happening. Oh, it rebuilds the house. <laughs> There's a tap sink in the top. Yeah. What he, he had a lot of mannequins, didn't he? Do you know why like, people like this? Right, I don't know what he did for a job where he might have inherited some money, but how do they afford to do, like, how do they afford all this? No, all of this is junk. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. You don't pay for it. <laughs> you find it. Now, when we were walking around, the condition of the house is not far off what he was actually living in. After it burnt down, it never really got back to its former glory, let's say. But there's a few things when we were walking around that I didn't know. This bit's fucking weird. I don't understand what's happening. Oh. Look at that, like, trap door that's... What? Oh, the... It's on a pulley system, and this is the... 
What? I don't... That is a trap door into a pit. There's like this strange door that's lifted up. Now it's completely flooded, but that apparently was um, an air raid shelter um, that he built, like a war bunker. I think we said it was some kind of torture device or something. <laughs> like we went into this completely naive, not knowing about who this guy was. Have you seen that door though? What the fuck? It's on like, it's on the pulley system. That's nuts. That's like a trap door. That's okay. nuts. Why do you watch your head? Yeah, watch your head. Jesus Christ, that Mark. was scared the crap out of me. There's a counterweight here, look. Oh yeah. That, not the counterweight, you can't use that for that well, door. It, it's connected to it. That is interesting. I wonder how deep that is. Oh, here we go. That? Yeah. It's a well. What the hell? Have you seen all, what Al, have you seen all this shit in front of you? Yeah. Go, go. Look at this. Like that. To happiness. That is interesting. Rest. I wonder how deep that is. Oh, here we go. Well, that? Do you yes. reckon it's a well? No. no? Well, well, well. He proud of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Still waters run deep. Like filled up with water and put people in it. And then it looks like it, doesn't it? it and make, then it then make it into a pool. This is that the is incredible good. Mangle Wurzel Monument, standing 21 feet high, erected by Jonathan Z during the Great Clad Summer of 78. Jake's 14 for year, Hague Cross, blah de blah, furlongs over the fields that away and is on the map, but it has note on Jake's rake, standing right here in wonderful Wurzel land, a gift to Hood, Hood's villains forever. Is that a key? It's a key. It's not a key. It's not a well, key. It. It's, it's a not, giant key. It's not a giant key. Window. It is a giant key. It's a giant key. It's a giant key. That's the key for the house. What says <laughs> to, to happiness? Is that, is that, ow, is that oh. over there, is that the gate to somebody's actual house? It's the gates to hell. I don't know. I think it is. What oh, there's the other half there's of some, the coffin. some stocks here. It's like Buffalo Bill's house inside. <laughs> it fucking is, isn't it? <laughs> Do you think this is some kind of crazy water thing? Because like you've got like a wheel there that could possibly carry water around with all them uh, thingy tubs. Yeah, maybe. With the well, well there's a toilet system above your head. See what I mean? It could be the water. Yes, Alex. I think this would have been his front door. He died uh, quite recently. Um, he was in like a legal dispute with the council for quite a while. And he eventually came to a deal uh, with the council where um, they would give him a little bit more land because his hoarding had got so much. This is a door knocker. Kindly use it as such. Oh yeah, he's used a toilet lid as a door got knocker. Like a, 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 a ring doorbell from the 1990s. <laughs> that thing above your head looks like some kind of booby trap. It does. Look like some I, kind of, I feel I like everything's like, booby trapped in here. A guitar. Oh. Some oh, fucking hell, I did not like that. It's that it? there, it's that tree. It is, yeah, it's a tree next to that. BBC it's the happy tree. While women go demented, the boys find holes in ancient poles and thus we stay contented. Oh man. Does that door open? Um, is there any further progress? That's somebody's house. No. That's my house. Look at all the light. You can't open just, it. It's just junk, isn't it? Yeah, but it, I find, uh, there's something about it that's like. It's junk and it just all looks spewing, but you know that it was put there. On purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Like everything's got a purpose, but yet none of it makes sense. Yeah, but n it's uh, the only purpose was in his <laughs> mind, no one else's. Yeah. No one else understood. I think that looks like some kind of like. Fan or something? Look at this mannequin, Al. He's put a tap on it. Have you seen this as mannequin? A penis? Penis? He's put a water feature where a vagina oh, would be. Yeah, he's, he's done that here. Do you know what I'd love to see? Look at this old place. door. I'd have loved to have been shown around this place by him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So he could show you everything that he's done and t tell you about everything. For boring Kirklees. <laughs> this wheel has got a, some kind of poly system no, attached to it. Really hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Oh shit, you know what it is? What? Right, this wheel, yeah, you turn it, 
it goes up there, up there, and can you see the gate? Oh, fuck, yeah. This is like a, that drops down. Like a, like a castle. Norton, have you seen this? There's a pulley system, and can you see it pulls this, this gate here, this... Oh, the drawbridge? Yeah. Well, it's... That, that, that's been slowly going down since we came in, the trappers eventually. <laughs> they did, online, it did say there was a drawbridge to his house. There's still some, there's still some parts remaining. There's another coffin over there. Yeah, another coffin. You see it? That's three, that's three coffins. Look at them plates. Oh, fuck! Who's that? You know the door with the toilet knocker on it? Oh, you're behind, behind it. it. So we're like in his living room. Oh <laughs> shit, have you seen like the mechanism thing? Is yeah. that for the door? It could have been. This, look, at, look at this drinking apparatus. If that had a handle, it'd be sick. Innsbruck. That's, a, that's actually ancient and it's worth 500 pounds. Bloody, bloody. Gross. This is nice something that I'd imagine you to have in your house, Al. Oh, the knights are cool. Oh, yeah, have you seen, did you see the knights? Yes. They're yeah. very cool. See, a bit of a nut. I'm gonna start mm. off. Oh, is that like a bed frame made out of hot shoes? Oh, it's this big seat in it. Looks like a seat that you would carry a king on. King Wurzel! I like the wall made of doors. That's just one big door. Uh, th this was my favourite episode of Pimp My Ride. <laughs> Where they stuck a bath and another cow <laughs> yeah. on top. We've egg yeah, I can imagine that with eggs, it? <laughs> Yo, dog, don't you like dogs? We put a, we, we put a car on a car so you can drive while you drive! <laughs> <laughs> this house is going to get popular and there's going to be dickheads showing up with fucking Ouija boards and bloody spirit boxes and whatnot. Um, Please don't. I mean, honestly, I feel like I, I feel like I know the guy now. I've done that much research and watched that much footage of this guy. Did you mention anything about the cow's head? No, I didn't. So, Norton, what's the history on this cow's head? Someone once said that this head represents fertility. Do you know? True, you know why, true fact. You know why the nostrils are red? Why? Go <laughs> fucking door. That was Jake Mangle Wurzel's house. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you do know anything about the guy, then uh, let us know. <laughs> I'm getting run over. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for uh, watching, and uh, if you want to support the channel more, drop us a like and a subscribe. Anything else to say? Al's keeps like trying to get me to smoke weed.